Well, the trial of Cardell Hayes was one of the most high profile court cases in New Orleans in a long time. And now the split verdict that sent Hayes to prison has him heading home, at least for now. Danny Monteverdi joins us live outside the jail where Eyewitness News has learned that Hayes will be released on bond any minute now. Danny. And that's right, Karen. We believe he just came into the jail just a few minutes ago. He was staying uh, or, or was um, housed rather at the Elaine Hunt Correctional Center outside of Baton Rouge and St. Gabriel up until just a few hours ago. Uh, this morning, the uh, there was a court hearing for a new bail that was set for Cardell Hayes. And again, just a short time ago, he was brought here to the Orleans Parish Prison. We can take a look at some video of that car coming in. Uh, there was a bail setting as we a bail hearing rather to set uh, his new bail this morning. Uh, let's take a look at how we got from there to hear today. In the end, the jury could only agree to disagree. With a split verdict of 10 to 2, they convicted Cardell Hayes of manslaughter in the death of former Saint Star Will Smith. Hayes was also convicted of attempted manslaughter for shooting Smith's wife Raquel. That happened in April 2016 on Magazine Street following a road rage incident between Hayes and Smith. But the U.S. Supreme Court recently ruled the non-unanimous verdict handed down was not constitutional. That set a path for Hayes to get a new trial and an early release from the Elaine Hunt Correctional Center in St. Gabriel near Baton Rouge, where he was serving out his 25-year sentence. That release will likely happen soon, despite objections from Raquel Smith. Certainly hope so. Judge Camille Buris on Thursday set bail for Hayes at $225,000. John Fuller, who represented Hayes at trial, says his client's family was pleased with that amount. They were pleased uh, that he, you know, that the judge granted the motion for a bond, and uh, they're going to do everything in their power uh, to bring him home. Outside of the courtroom, Cardell Hayes' family signed the bail paperwork that will start the process of releasing him from prison. There was applause and cheers, but this is just one step in a journey that is far from over. The DA's office can either try the case again or work to strike a plea agreement with Hayes. Eyewitness News legal analyst Kiva Landrum says it wouldn't surprise her if the case doesn't go back before a jury. Both sides have seen this case go to trial, and so I think that the strengths and weaknesses of the case have been uh, explored on both sides of the aisle. And so I'm sure there will be some conversation about whether or not there's a fair plea agreement that each side can reach. It's too early, so too early to... Uh to discuss that. But a discussion that will happen sooner rather than later. And again, you heard John Fuller there in the report from just a short time ago saying this morning he uh, he hopes things will move quickly on this. And again, it is moving quickly. As we said in the package, the family was in court this morning, uh, had a brief moment of celebration as they filled out those uh, bail papers. And in fact, there were bail bondsmen in the courtroom. Uh, so again, the attorneys and the family moving quickly on this. Uh, as we said at the top of the show, uh, Cardell Hayes is apparently now here at the Orleans Parish Prison and again was brought back from the Elaine Hunt Correctional Center near Baton Rouge. Uh, we do expect in, in any few minute now, any few minutes now that he will walk out of these doors right here. This will be the first time Cardell Hayes is going to um, walk the streets as a free man since April 9th of 2016. That's when the shooting between him uh, or the shooting happened uh, with uh, Will Smith on uh, on Magazine Street. That happened after a road rage incident. And so again, for the first time since April 9th, 2016, we believe Cardell Hayes will be walking out a free man. Now, this is, of course, um, uh, with some uh, the family of Will Smith was not in favor of this. They they pushed back against this at a recent bail hearing that was back on March 4th. Raquel Smith said she didn't want to be able to tell her children that the man who killed their father was walking free. That is the latest for now reporting live at the Orleans Parish Jail. Danny Monteverdi, Eyewitness News.